Yo, what's going on, man? Y'all already know what it is, man. Your boy Rich, man. I know y'all see me. Oh, all this workspace. No, my bad. <laughs> Look at here. I wish it was my workspace, man. But, you know what I'm saying? With that being said, though, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I'm going to let... I'm going to let this person right here go ahead and tell y'all where we at. And I'm going to say, I say this person, but I'm going to let him introduce himself how he want to be introduced. Yo, 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 it's your boy, JT Money, the yeah. Wing King. We at the Chicken Club. Yeah, y'all know it. Uh, We basically trying to tell y'all what's going on because there's a lot of indication about what and how and why and what is. Um, everything off wood. That stuff I'm spraying on it, that's love potion number nine. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I ain't want to take your spot okay, for oh, one oh. second. Let me turn the camera around, because y'all know I like to give it to them raw. Yeah. I don't want, I like to stay behind the lens, so y'all hold on one second. Okay, okay. Yeah. We had to cook, this is what happened, Matt. We got uh, turkey wings, turkey legs, whole chicken. We got wings, hens. Uh, we in Muddy Creek, South Carolina. Everything off wood, uh, white oak, red oak, pecan, blackjack. Um, I ain't need it. I just need a heat surface. If you could, uh, if you could uh, heat the grill off a of sun, I could do that too. Uh, off the sun. So you heat off anything. Anything, any any kind of anything you can do to make heat. If you can get the block hot, I'll grill on. Hey, y'all know I don't bandwagon now, so I'm gonna let y'all know from the jump right here, man. I ain't even gonna put little in it, but this is my cousin right here, man. And when I tell y'all we knee high from a grasshopper because we did everything they ever did together, man. But check this right here out. Um, I gotta ask you, man, like, when it comes to the cook, what made you decide to get into, you know what I'm saying, like, the business that you actually started to jump off into? Uh. I used to be a lot of places, man. I try to do everything to get attention, mm -hmm. but it wasn't working. Right. So I go buy a bunch of meat, pull up under the tree, throw the grill out, and say, man, try my taste out. Try my flavor out. They be like, what you doing? What you spraying on that? What's the name of that season? Man, it just love. I want to give out love, not only my family, to everybody, the community, yep. uh, the state. Um, I had big inspiration. Um, from Rodney Scott, from Rosie Scott Barbecue. He's the number one pit master right now, the best barbecue in South Carolina. Yeah. Shout out to Rosie Scott Barbecue. Uh, they was cooking that thing I would. I was one of their best customers. Yeah. I mean, I'm talking, I'm gonna get it fresh. So whenever he left, he hurt me. But he had bigger things going on. I just learned that. Uh, I wanna follow his footsteps. Um, another thing about him away, I'm the only other person he number one, they number one. I'm the only other person that served that food off of wood. Yeah. Um, so that's why I had to be turkeys, turkey laid, turkey wing, chicken, hens, smoked wings, whatever it is, man. We cooking everything off wood because they love that wood flavor. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, on you. Uh, uh, well, I, I, you know, and I have to get like into detail because it was crazy i'll be honest with you like i i know he's been doing it for a minute but i'll be honest with you just to kind of bring it out and y'all know i like to keep it raw and uncut so this is my thing right here um this this family this my cousin uh i pulled up on christmas christmas eve as a matter of fact so you know my granddad, Ben Taylor, we always did this thing with uh, throwing a hog out there and cooking a hog and everything where uh, this year right here, or may I say last year, coming into this year, I rolled up on on you. And I noticed that you had the grill and everything out, man. And it did something to me because like it brought me back, but at the same time, I was already having a vibe like I didn't know what was coming, but I knew something was coming. And with that being said, like um, when you when you was cooking that night, did you know? Uh, and this was this was December twenty fourth, twenty twenty. Did you did you know uh, or think that you would actually be 
you know, where you at right now as far as, you know what I'm saying, with, with the chicken coop right now? Or, you know, it was at, at that part, did you just start manifesting it? I was already cooking for 15 people every day. Mm. So only thing was left for us, me to learn temperatures, me to learn what to do with the meat when I get the meat, uh, and basically what to do to get your attention when I give you the food. Uh, I wanted to make sure I was technically correct. Yeah. Um, so I had big intentions to be there, but I ain't know it was going to be like this. Like, I'm still overwhelmed. Yeah. Like, I'm shocked right now. People want me to do this more than anything. Yeah. Um, so when you got a fan base, I guess you got to keep them happy. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, like, being an older cousin of a man, like, me and this dude right here came from so far back. Like, it's, it's hard for me to be behind the camera right now. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm by far from soft, but it's hard for me to be behind the camera right now and not, like, want to be in my feelings at the same time because, uh, you know, I don't, well, a lot of y'all may not know I lost my dad January 13th, my birthday was January 15th, and I just wish that my dad had a chance to, um, you know what I'm saying, be blessed with a little bit. I don't know, did because uh, I know you was grilling that night. Did you have a chance to actually, like, take well, some over know, to my Stanley, mom's and everybody? Stanley was talking to El he was talking about it, but he was always busy. Yeah. He was always uh, consistent with his agenda routine. So we know we did see him. It was going to be a glimpse. It wasn't going to be, you know, full time. Mm. But he was giving notes and telling Stan, hey, you remember how we used to, you know, burn that? Don't, don't burn, you don't burn the hog up. You know what I'm saying? Don't put the fire right under the hog. You know, that four corner, the more people, you look at my live, I talk about that four corner rule. Um, the basic thing was, and, and that's why I start my food off with uh, onions and peppers. And don't give them too much. Don't give them too much. Yeah, don't man. give them too much. I hey, I ain't gonna lie, cause I see him dicing it up. I yeah, don't know if yeah, you, yeah. if you got some of that yeah. on your phone, like send that to me, cause right now, like I told you, I give y'all that raw. Yeah. So if you got some of that video on your phone, you got to send that video to me so I can show them and some B-roll, what you talking about with the onions and pepper, but excuse me for cutting cross you, go ahead and get, I mean, if you want to get it, tell me, let them have it. I just want you to smell me before you get here. Ooh, <laughs> strong line, let me back up. Let me back yeah. up, let me back up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I want you to smell me right. before you get here. I want you, I want you to say, dang, something going on over there. Yeah. There's a lot of smoke, so we want to see what that's about, because I'm all about the smoke. Yeah. Uh, And, and just the flavor. Uh -huh. But that scent is like an aroma that gave off worse than the love potion number nine. Ooh. And see, that love potion number nine, if you know something, I think was serious now. Yeah. No people have been comatose for weeks. So look months. here. you trying to tell me with, with, with JT on the grill at the chicken coop, it's an aphrodisiac. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You want it. You love it. I, nah. Hey, no disrespect. Uh, my first time at the club, this is 261, Hemingway, Highway 61, Weavers. Um, I mean, no disrespect. You know, his old lady got it. And she was like, ooh, baby, he got that He got that flavor. He got that. He got that. Like, she was motivating him, like, go get everything. Because that flavor he got, it just was. So how you serve it, though? Because I see you got plates, you got pans. I serve it how you want it. Ooh. I'll give you the whole grill. I got a meat plug. Uh-huh. Yeah, they, 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 they Don't fall. tell them that. Don't tell them that. Oh, oh, oh. We get them too much. Okay, okay. We get them too much. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to cut the interview off. Yeah, you yeah, you yeah. going to score like that. See, he getting a little happy, man. Yeah. But I'm going to tell y'all this. Now, all jokes aside, like, when I saw you serving and I came out, you know what I'm saying, for the first time, you know what I'm saying? Like, Cuzzo gave me a call. I pull up on him. Um, he, I, I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't just go for a plate. I had to go for a platter because I got a family. So, you know what I'm saying? Like me, like any other customer, like you know, he was like, "Man, take that." I was like, "Nah, bro, like you got eat." 
You know what I'm saying? And you're like, well, shoot, I'm going to eat. But at the same time. This is my normal. You know, you know, then you go right there. I want you to get one of everything. Yeah. I want the whole chicken with the turkey wing and the turkey leg and the ribs. I want you to be able to separate that thing. Oh, I want y'all to see that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We feeding families. I want y'all to see that now. Yeah, y'all y'all see what that thing say. Yeah, the, the two rolls of bacon pan. Oh, yeah. But I'm giving you the meat set up for your family. Check my live out. Jermaine Taylor, check my live out. The chicken coop, we on there going ham. Hey, man, look at here, man. Let me tell y'all something, man. It ain't about the money, man. It's about the love and the loyalty, and... This is the thing, man. Whether I got a shift from cars to food, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to stand behind family 110. So I been, it's been a long time coming because he's been ringing my phone off. I've been going through a lot. Like I say, losing my dad, then losing a the sister. But regardless of what I, I went through, you know, I got back because of people like this right here. You know what I'm saying? That I would always come through. And I remember when my dad passed, like, I was out there on the grill and he just came over and he just took over on the grill that night. And we kind of did our thing together cause we had two grills going, but man, I, when I could tell you like this right here, when we was done, there was no chicken left. <laughs> so at that point right there, I'm like, well, dang. you know, it was crazy because I love to grill myself and I'm not taking any credit from him, but as I saw him move around on the grill and everything, it was crazy because I feel like, you know, December 24th um, from January 10th to, oh, my bad, from January 13th to uh, the day we laid my daddy down, like, you know what I'm saying? We had him to come out there and just kind of do his thing. We grilled one night, and since then, everybody has been asking for uh, that same type of chicken, and I can't even lie to you. Like, I get on there, man, and I can do some bad pork chops, but when it comes to chicken and ribs and everything, man, like, I'm a cousin. He won't even give me the recipe. So, <laughs> I know y'all ain't getting it, man. The best I can tell y'all, man, pull up, grab y'all a plate, man. Look at here. Um, a lot of the times, man, tell these people where you be at, man, and how they can get in contact man, with I'm you. I'm in Muddy Creek, man, Hemingway, South Carolina. Uh, get the Highway 261 from Hemingway to Georgetown or from Georgetown to Hemingway. Uh, you can inbox me, Jermaine Taylor, on Facebook. Um, I'm at tjermaine49 at gmail.com. Uh, I'm at, at the chicken coop, money sign dot com. Mm -hmm. Um, I do catering, I do pull-ups. I mean, if you just want to feel me, I'll bring something to you to taste me. Um, I got it where you can come here. Um, shout out to Plantersville. Had a guy come last week, he bought 30 turkey wings at one time. 30 turkey wings, man. I, he didn't want his name in it. He was a wonderful guy. Um, shout out to Club 261. Sold out every time. Sold out every time, man. Uh, just want to let everybody know, you know what I'm saying? Check the chicken cool about. We got the best flavor around. Um, this is the first video because it's going to be about 10. It's going to be 100. Or more. Or more. We <laughs> might turn this thing into a series because yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, this right involved. here, I'm going to let y'all know right now, man. And, and I'm so excited because this is my first time being back behind the lens. But it ain't about money this time. It was never about money. It was about loyalty. It was about family. You know what I'm saying? Man, I've been around people that scream everybody eat. Well, hey, this time we eating for real. Believe that. You feel me? Believe so that. it is what it is, man. So I'm going to let y'all know from the jump, man. Like, I done ate a lot of food, man, from Rosie's Barbecue. I love them. Man, shout out to Rosie, man. R.I.P. to Rosie. And I, I would tell you right now, y'all can say what y'all want to say. I know a lot of people that grill, but I think the cool, or I know the cool, the, ch the chicken cool is the next best thing. Mm -hmm. So y'all better go ahead and lock in, man. If y'all ain't get y'all no plate, no nothing yet, man, y'all better get in this man inbox. 
asked us to pull up. I see y'all doing these car shows and all of that, man. Look at here. And then y'all taxing people to actually get in there and to cook when we trying to serve y'all great food, man. Look at here. If y'all got money like that and y'all balling like that, spin it. I'm going to say it like this right here, man. Money made to be recycled. So if y'all ain't, if y'all ain't blowing it, y'all holding it. Man, look at here. We ain't got time for that, man. How you want to send them out, cuz? Hey, there you go. Check me out. I'm always moving. They know. The coup. All right. Yeah.